And we're live. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Bogdan, I'm a product specialist here at Jonas. And today we're gonna to be talking about our um, document management system that we call Jonas Documents. And just before we start, I'm just gonna go over some of the housekeeping guidelines quickly. So um, just to let you know, all attendees are currently muted for a better listening experience. Also, please maximize your screen if you wanna get the full benefit of uh, all the details in the presentation. And uh, if you have any questions for the end of the session, please uh, put them into the questions box in your GoToWebinar um, box there, and I'll be answering all the questions at the end of the session. So um, if you're joining me this week for the first time, I just wanna quickly go over you know, who we are as a company and what we do. So Jonas Construction Software is a fully integrated construction management software solution. Uh, so it was built with job cost, service, accounting, and field as the hub from day one. So all the modules, all the features that you see here, they are part of one fully integrated software package and uh, everything is built in house. We don't license uh, you know, any of the modules from third party software companies and uh, you know, everything is fully integrated. It all works as one system. So in this demonstration today, we're gonna be go going over document management, but over the course of you know, the webinar series that we do weekly, uh, we're gonna be going over all the different modules and all the different uh, functions that we have uh, for the Jonas software enterprise system. So just before I jump into the demonstration of Jonas documents, I wanna go over some of the benefits of an electronic document management system or a DMS for short, and how it compares to a traditional paper-based document management system. So one of the key benefits is convenient retrieval. So documents are stored with the objective of retrieving them uh, at a later time. So retrieving a particular document from a large volume of business documents can be difficult or even impossible um, unless you have a proper document management system in place. So similar to how paper documents are stored in filing cabinets in an office, electronic documents are actually stored on your local drive for each user or within a centralized server in a networked system. So this allows access from virtually any device at any time. So you don't have to be in the office to access critical information that may be important for your day-to-day -day work. And just to add to this, uh, another benefit is, you know, due to COVID-19 with social distancing measures in place, you do not need to be physically present in the office to view or retrieve specific documents if you have an electronic document management system in place. Another benefit is full integration. So a good document management system can also be fully integrated with your service and construction management software. And that ensures that all documents created within the system are stored and categorized, and this eliminates the need for any double entry and enhances your workflows. Additionally, we also have version control as a benefit. So if there are different uh, versions of a document that need to be maintained, as may be the case for quotes and revisions or other job related documents such as change orders, uh, it's essential to clearly identify the latest version and um, include all previous versions and a log of what changes were made as well and who made them. So a good document management system can eliminate a lot of that guesswork when attempting to locate a particular version. Next benefit we have is cost reduction. So managing a large volume of documents uh, that's generated in the course of a business is extremely expensive and not to mention wasteful. Um, and in a paper-based system, you know, paper, ink, file folders, filing cabinets, filing staff, and all those requirements, they can be pretty costly. And an electronic document management system can help reduce these costs by eliminating these paper-based requirements. And last but not least, document security is a benefit. So documents can contain business secrets and other confidential data such as internal pricing or employees' personal details. And if someone unauthorized gains access to these documents, this can lead to damage to your business or legal consequences as well. So a good DMS ensures that only authorized persons can access particular documents. And uh, additionally, because these documents are stored digitally in the event of, some, of a physical disaster such as a fire or a flood, this can make it much easier for you to restore these documents from a backup if they are lost or accidentally deleted. And so with these benefits in mind, I'm just gonna go over our agenda for today. Uh, so in no particular order, we're gonna talk about uh, the initial overview and setup in Jonas documents. So how you're gonna be setting up your user profiles, um, how you're gonna be creating your different document categories and attributes. And uh, we're also gonna talk about how you can store documents and retrieve them as well. We're gonna be talking about creating different workflows. So maybe creating an approval process for your uh, AP invoices or purchase orders. And we're also gonna talk about uh, collaboration and share views. So how you can uh, share views amongst employees, departments and external users, or share folders with them so you can all, all have access to the same information. And last but not least, version control. So 
um, you know, multiple versions of the documents can be maintained and how you can access them and see the history for a particular document. So with that in mind, let's, let's jump into the live demo. So I'm gonna switch over to my Jonas documents screen. And so here is our document management system. So the first thing you'll notice is that you'll see all of the documents that you created on the first screen here. So on the left-hand side, you can access different areas within Jonas documents. And in here, you'll see all of the documents that you've created. And you'll also notice that each document has different categories, different types, different statuses. So when a document gets created, uh, you can assign these different attributes and different uh, you know, levels of categorization. So that makes it very easy for you to search for your documents and retrieve them at any given notice. If you want to add documents directly to the, to the document management system, you can click on this plus icon over here and you can select from your device um, either a file or even an entire folder if you'd like. And that will open up your file explorer and you can attach a document directly into uh, the DMS or you can also, and you can also attach, you know, different uh, categories and different types to it so you can sort it, um, you know, for later re retrieval. If we go back into our Jonas core system, you can also attach documents directly in different modules. So for instance, um, if I'm a project manager and I'm going into a particular job and I'm into the job creation screen here, I have a particular job pulled up. So if I want to add maybe a drawing or a particular document directly against the job, I can click on the attach button here and you'll see this attach button in many different modules in Jonas. And that means that it's fully integrated with our document management system. So if I click on attach, I'll be able to go in and maybe I want to you know, access a, a drawing or attach a drawing directly to the job. I'm gonna select this drawing. I'm gonna attach that. And it's gonna notify me that it's been attached directly against the job. And now the good thing is, now that it's been attached, it automatically assigns all the attributes against that particular document. So if we go back into the Jonas document system and we go back into my documents, it's gonna appear in the documents that were created. And there it is. And so you'll notice that a lot of these attributes, for instance, the job number, you know, what, what kind of document it is, whether it's related to a project, a job, who it was created by, all these attributes are automatically assigned to the document when it is created. And if I wanted to, I can go in, let me just move my webinar out of the way here. I can go in and I can also check to see the history of that document. So track any version changes. If I go in and select history on the right-hand side here, I can see when it was created, you know, any routing information, any comments directly against this particular document. So that gives me a, a history and an over, overview of when the document was created and who created it and eliminates a lot of the guesswork. So now we're gonna to touch upon some of the uh, configuration settings. So if I go down into the configuration tabs here, uh, we're gonna talk about how we're gonna set up our first uh, access profile. So within the access profile menu is where you're gonna create a template of, you know, how you're gonna be using or what profiles are gonna be accessing Jonas documents. So you can create internal and external access profiles. So what that means is, um, you know, for internal users, it might be your service managers, your project managers, um, you know, employees within finance, uh, but you can also set up external profiles. So if you want maybe your subcontractors to have access to uh, particular invoices or particular documents or change orders, uh, they can access Jonas documents remotely from their offices as well. You can also give your customers external access. So if you want them to be able to access their invoices, you can do so and that aids in transparency and uh, you know, further collaboration with your customers. So once again, you can, uh, you can grant access to external and internal users. And just to mention, Jonas Documents has unlimited users. So you can add as many users. You don't have to pay for you know, licenses for each individual user. You can set up as many users as you'd like and give them access to whatever information that you want them to have access to. So once you've set up these access profiles, you're gonna link them to uh, individual accounts or individual users. So here you'll see I'm set up as a user. And so I've uh, been assigned a role, so I'm an administrator. You'll also have, uh, you can link a, an email address directly to the user. So if you are an approver and you have your email address linked, uh, the system will automatically notify you if there's any documents awaiting your approval. So that's why it's there. If I click on the pencil icon and I edit my information, I can set up my defaults and my uh, user preferences, and I can also set up a signature as well. So when I'm approving documents, I can sign off on the document directly out of the document management system. In the settings under configuration, here's where you set up all of your categories, your types, and your attributes. So uh, this is where you're gonna define how you categorize your documents. 
And uh, you can add categories, you can edit existing categories by clicking on the pencil icon. And uh, if you click on this chain link next to an existing category, that's actually gonna bring up this, uh, this family tree, as I call it, of uh, all the relationships that are established between the customer, between the, uh, the type, or sorry, between the category, between the type, between the individual attributes. So you can see a kind of high level overview of how you've set up your, your, uh, your category system within your uh, document management system. And so next, I, I want to talk about um, setting up different workflows. And this will be done in the approval process menu. Uh, and I think this is one of the most important aspects of Jonas documents. And it's extremely important in improving your business processes. So um, if I go into this approval process area, I can set up different kinds of workflows. And this feature has helped a lot of our clients completely restructure their accounts payable workflows. So just to give an example, um, there were many instances where owners weren't aware of purchases until they were in the process of signing the checks for payment. And uh, in manual workflows, some invoices will naturally get missed, unfortunately. And so by setting up a workflow through Jonas documents, all purchases are approved through Jonas docs before being posted to the AP ledger. So this allows remote users to access, so they don't have to uh, be at the office to approve documents. So you can do so directly from the field, from your home office. Even if you're on vacation and a certain document is needing your urgent approval, you can do so directly from your mobile device. So this makes workflows so much more effective and efficient and not to mention easier. And so if I wanna go in here and I wanna edit an existing workflow that I've set up, I'm gonna go into the supplier invoices workflow. I'm gonna click on the pencil icon to edit an existing approval process. And you're gonna see that I have a three-step uh, approval workflow that I set up. So the first step is gonna be myself. And so you can set conditions for each step. So in this case, um, I will approve any supplier invoices that are greater to or equal to greater than or equal to $500. The next step will be my colleague Nadine, uh, who will approve anything greater or equal to $1,000. And the third step is a multiple condition step. So anything greater than $1,000 with the project manager Alex associated with it will go to Alex for approval. And I can edit these conditions. I can set up new conditions. If I click on the ellipses next to my name, the condition menu will pop up and I can assign you know, different attributes. I can uh, set up different conditions based on maybe the company, the cost item, the cost type, uh, maybe the invoice date. So all of these attributes you can use as conditions when you're setting up these workflows. So now that that's been set up, let's go back into our core system. And I wanna show you how you would set up a, an AP supplier invoice approval. So if we're going into our accounts payable module and uh, we're gonna go set up a invoice, I'm gonna quickly set up an invoice and choose a supplier. I'm gonna key in an invoice number. And so if you remember, my approval step was anything greater, to, greater than or equal to $500. So I'm gonna uh, make this invoice for $500. And then I'm going to attach an invoice document directly from my device. So you can actually click on the retrieve invoice button. You can attach a particular document directly to the device. You can also use our Jonas PDF creator. So if I go in here and, uh, you know, for instance, sometimes uh, one of your vendors might send you an invoice uh, by email and all of the invoices are lumped into one PDF document. So the Jonas PDF creator allows you to, you know, separate all the pages within that invoice and you can only include particular pages directly uh, into your invoice when attaching it. So that's a pretty neat feature and saves you a lot of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach a particular invoice to this, uh, to this AP invoice, maybe this Home Depot invoice here, just uh, for example. And uh, when I click okay, it's gonna ask me to distribute this invoice. So once again, in Jonas, you can distribute it to or allocate it to a GL account, a job, a work order, a piece of equipment. So I'm gonna allocate it to a particular job. I'm gonna select that job we were looking at earlier, 17006. I'm gonna choose a cost item and a cost type. And now that's been completed. So it's gonna link that document directly to the document management system. And when I complete that, if I go to review the batch, it's gonna show me that there is a document currently pending approval. So I'm not gonna be able to post this batch until uh, the approval process has been completed. And you're gonna notice that I just got a new document notification in my email. So 
uh, Jonas Documents automatically notifies you by email if, if there are any documents waiting for your approval. So I'm going to go into my approver inbox. And you'll see that Home Depot invoice here um, and that particular invoice number is pending for my approval. And so as an approver, I can go in here and I can quickly click on the eyeball. and I can see a quick preview of that document if I wanted to. I can also go in and click on this uh, linked documents and see any related documents in regards to this uh, particular invoice. So it eliminates a lot of the guesswork when it comes to, you know, finding out where this document came from, uh, you know, who created it. If I go into the history, I can also check to see, you know, when it was created, who created that, who it was routed to. So all that information is available to me as an approver. So once I've, uh, and, and the beautiful thing is as well, if I wanted to go and edit any of the details, I can go into uh, the details section and I can uh, redistribute, re redistribute some of the attributes that were assigned to it. So maybe, um, you know, it was allocated to the wrong job. I can change that job on the fly directly out of the Jonas document management system without having to go into the core system to, to edit that information. And so once I've okayed and verified that that's all correct, I can quickly select the uh, thumbs up to approve the selected document. I can give a thumbs down if I want to deny it. I can also route it to a different employee. So let's say I want somebody else's uh, approval before I approve this document. I can also send it over and create a new approval step for another user, or I can replace the current uh, approval step and uh, give it to a completely different approver for review. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna approve this document. You're gonna be able to put your signature directly on the invoice. And you're also gonna be able to add some comments as well. So it makes this the, the setup or the process of approvals extremely easy and it makes your workflow so much more efficient by allowing you to do this electronically, remotely, directly from the field or from your home. And um, all of that is going to be notified to you by uh, Jonas Documents via email. And so we talked about how uh, you can set up different categories and how all the documents that you create are automatically assigned attributes. So the beauty of uh, Jonas Documents is you can also create your own uh, folders for viewing those documents. So if I want to quickly access all my documents. Maybe as a project manager, I want to go into a particular job. So maybe I have access to four jobs and I want to see all the documents assigned to uh, job 17006. So I've created this folder that has all the documents in relation to this job. I've created many subfolders within that folder where I can track the different types of documents. So if I want to see my change orders in regards to this job, if I want to see RFIs for this job and my purchase orders, I can go in and I can quickly look at all the RFIs or all the documents uh, related to this job. Maybe as a service manager, you might want to see uh, documents or invoices pertaining to a particular customer. So you can also set up a, a folder in regards to a customer. So if I click on the Starbucks folder, I can set up a folder for a particular location and I can see all of the work order invoices, maybe the work order tickets, all pertaining to this particular customer location. And to touch upon the collaboration aspect, another uh, cool feature of uh, setting up these folders is that you're able to share these folders with other employees. So if you want to share your views with uh, a colleague, you can share these folders and you can create shared views. So for instance, if I click on shared views, I'm going to be able to see all the shared folders that, that uh, a colleague has shared with me. So Nadine has shared this uh, Starbucks folder with me and I can see all the same documents that um, she has filtered and created access to for herself. So that aids in collaboration between your colleagues and between employees within the company. So that sums up our quick demo for Jonas Documents. Um, I hope you enjoyed you know, your time with me and uh, I'm gonna jump into our uh, Q&A. So without further ado, let's answer some questions that you guys might have. And I'll set this up with my contact information if you wanna um, you know, contact me after the demo. Let me go into the questions and see if there's any questions to answer. All right, so the first question that we have is, how many users can you have um, in the system? So uh, I think I mentioned this earlier, but the beauty of Jonas Documents is it's unlimited users. So you can have as many users as you'd like, and you can set up external and internal users, and uh, you don't pay for any licenses uh, for each additional user. So unlimited users. Uh, the next question I have here is, um, can you add any type of documents, such as pictures? Uh, and to, to answer that question, yes, you can answer. You can you can um, add as as many document formats 
as possible. You can add pictures, you can add videos, you can add PDFs, you can add Word documents, you can even drag um, emails directly into uh, Jonas documents. So um, you can attach any, any type of document. So hopefully that answers your question. Uh, the next question I have is, can you edit when notifications are received for approved documents? Okay, so to answer that question, yes. And uh, I might have not touched upon that during the presentation, but if I go back into Jonas documents and I go into the workflow setup, and I go into the supplier invoice workflow, you're gonna see at the bottom here that uh, you can actually dictate um, how many overdue days, uh, how many overdue approval days before a notification is sent. So you can, you can, uh, alter how many overdue days before you get an email in your inbox notifying you that uh, that document's overdue. So to answer your question, yes, you can definitely edit that information. And the last question I have is, is there a limit to how many approval steps or workflows you can set up? Uh, and the answer to that question is no, there is not any um, limit. So you can set up as many approval steps as you'd like. You can set up as many workflows as you'd like. Um, there is no cap on how many workflows uh, you can set up. So looks like that's all for questions. So uh, once again, thank you so much for joining me. Um, you know, if you have any further questions, if you want to get in contact for a full demo, uh, please be sure to reach out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time. And I'll see you again next week. And we'll be going over e-service, which is our customer portal. Take care, guys.